write a third degree equation. It just means it's not going to end up being a uh, quadratic, and that's okay. So, in other words, all of these were in the same form with x minus something, but we have three of them now, which is going to give us zero. The values still go in the same, so we got a, I'm sorry, it's a negative six, a zero, and a one. And of course, x minus zero is just x, so we've really got x plus six times x times x minus one equals zero. Now here's what I would do on this is you, you can either rearrange this, have the x in front and then distribute and then distribute again. We don't really need to though, I can distribute the x into this set of parentheses. I am not distributing that x into the other parentheses because that's different, all right? Um, I, I can't think of a situation where we would need to, but it's just one x being multiplied by all that stuff. It, again, it all depends on how we re have arranged it. So here I've got an x squared plus 6x, so that's in this set of parentheses, times x minus 1 equals 0. And now I'm looking to distribute this x squared, so that's x cubed minus x squared. And then distributing my 6x, so plus 6x squared minus 6x is 0. And then I'm just looking to combine like terms. So x cubed, uh, I've got this negative x squared plus 6x squared, that's a positive 5x squared, and then minus 6x, this all equals 0, and that's as far as we can go on this thing.